Growth is such an essential part of anything that we do in life, especially when it comes to things that we invest our time in because you never want to become too stagnant. And that's probably one of the biggest reasons why I use Skillshare. I'm always looking for ways to improve the quality of these videos. And Skillshare provides an entire catalog of ad-free classes, so I can do just that. Let me take you through it so I can show you just how simple it is. So you go to Skillshare, sign in, and search for the type of skill you're looking to work on. Or you can just search the specific creator's name. For me, I'm always looking to up the quality of the video, so I search MKBHD for Marcus Brown Lee's videos on how to do just that. So from there, you choose the class you want and you start exploring new ways to improve your craft. And just like with any of the creators that are featured on Skillshare, they take you through their different methods and strategies on how they became successful and show you how to do it. And just to give you a little added motivation, the first 1,000 people that use the link in the description to join Skillshare will receive a free one month trial. So you can discover even more ways to take yourself to that next level. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Starting us off in this next episode, a question from subs are some of our lovely patrons. First question came from my guy, Dominic. He said, what's up, Engraven? Hope you and the fam are doing well. I just got finished watching your G-Row video about him possibly going to Stanford. And man, did you call it. Play calling was terrible this game, and I kind of see why now. Now, I, now, now with, with that video, I was, I was hoping but I, I, I was hoping that he wouldn't be like I did, like I was in, in my last position. Again, just to repeat it one more time. I myself was speaking from personal experience and hoping that Jiro wasn't going to be like me because uh, where I was in one position at a job and got a promotion. And then after I got that promotion, that it was official, like, all right, you starting on this date, da 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 I got checked out. I was, I was checked out of the, the, the current position that I was still in. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm done here. So I ain't giving no effort. I'm just whatever about it. So I guess he's saying that he feels like Jiro uh, on Sunday's game against the Broncos was kind of like whatever about it. But anyway, uh, he said we ran that jet. <laughs> he said we ran that jet sweep like four times and we really didn't get creative at all. Uh, as we usually see at times. What you mean they didn't get creative? Hello, James Prochet at QB. What's up? But anyway, he said, except that play. Oh, sorry. I, I should have kept reading. He said, except that play with, with Proche that I think Roman was like Magic Johnson when he said, I ain't going to be here much longer anyway. Uh, but me personally, I hope he takes the job ASAP so he won't get sabotaged for the rest of the season. Uh, I want the best for this offense, and I don't think Roman can bring it out of them anymore. The players are, are tired of the offense. What do you think? Oh, man. Um, ooh. <laughs> oh, it's, it's something. So, uh, are, are you saying he, he said uh, I want the best for the offense, and I don't think Roman can bring it out of him no more. So, we, we, you think they, you think they peaked? You think do you think the Ravens' offense has has already peaked under Greg Roman? You think so? Or even do you think they peaked for the year? Because I mean, we're still we're, we're questioning these. We're questioning the offense. And it's what week? What are we in? Week thirteen or week fourteen? Whatever, whatever week we in, I always forget. I always get it mixed up. But whatever week we in, we're close to the end of the season. Oh, that's so sad to say out loud. But we're close to the end of the season, and we're still like questioning what is going on with this offense. Still, still, in year four of this offense, we're questioning what is going on with the offense. So can it get any better? It can. I mean. It's, I mean, it's, it's kind of easy to go up from here, um, but have they actually peaked already, though? Have they already reached the maximum that they're going to reach? I think so, under this offense. I think so. Like, again, we always say the same thing. Greg Roman, not a bad offensive coordinator, but um, first two years, that's good. Introductory guy, great. After that, I feel like it's maxed out already. So I feel like Ravens just need something that'll challenge them that much more. That'll challenge everybody and really just bring the best out of everybody. Maximize guys' value. Maximize their strength. Maximize their talents. And I ain't even just talking about Lamar. All the other guys, too. Devin DuVernay. The, the guys that they got. Devin DuVernay. Uh, Drake. Gus. Demarcus. Deshaun. <laughs> 
But Deshaun, they, they've been, I mean, overall, mostly. But just really getting guys, different guys involved, focusing, emphasizing different guys other than a Mark Andrews, uh, other than the running back, so and other than the running game. So I, I, I think the offense has actually peaked. Um, I, I mean, I, I would hope, I would love to, I would, I would love the offense be like, look, Engraver, shut it up. You're wrong. You're wrong. We got this. Watch this. Watch this. I would, I would, I would love that. And try, I would love to come on here, sit on here, sit on this couch, and be like, oh, yeah, hey. Y'all y'all remember when I said the offense peaked? Nope. They sure didn't. I was wrong. Is it going to happen? We'll see. Next question came from a newer Team Keep It Clean patron, my guy Derek. He said, I ain't graving this game. It's just depressing. Why? And he sent this He sent this an hour and change into the game. He sent this at 2.11 p.m. That game had been on for an hour and 11 minutes. Uh, but anyway, he said engraving this game is depressing, so I thought I might as well <laughs> He said so I thought I might as well send him my question. Man, the difference in play calling with Huntley in is staggering. I gotta think Roman was sabotaging Lamar, bro. Hopefully this his injury ain't too bad. But I wanted to ask what are three changes you would make this offseason if you were EDC. Hope this finds you well. Pushing the great con keep pushing the great content, brother. Appreciate it, man. Um and that's hey, a lot of people been using that S word. Cause there are a lot of people seeing some stuff, man. They seeing some stuff and hey, everybody got their own opinion on it. Um, but in the S word sabotaging. Um, three things that I would change. Uh I actually got four things. Philosophy. Uh that would be it. Um, but no, three things. Uh one one number one would be the philosophy. Uh I would have a convert sit down conversation with Jonathan Harbaugh. Uh, and I would say, hey. Look, we need to go in a different direction with, with how we do things. We got to go in a diff different direction with how we operate, with how we build this team, how we construct it, uh, the, everything. It, it has to be different because we got this guy over here. We've had him for five years, but we got this guy over here and we just, we ain't brought the best out of him. I want to keep him. I want to maximize his tap. I want to just maximize this offense, period, because if we could maximize this offense, we would, we could be unstoppable. We could, we could really do so much, so much more than we've been doing. I, I really want to get the most out of it. Are you riding with me or not? Are you willing to change stuff or not? Are you willing to be part of the change or not? Because if you're not willing to be part of it, then I'm going to be changing from you. That would be my first thing. Uh, the next thing would be actually putting that into action. If Harbaugh rolled with me, okay, cool. If Harbaugh didn't ride with me, okay, cool. I go bring in somebody else, and before I even hire them in the interview process, hey, how, how do you feel about this team, and what are you going to bring to this team? What are you going to do for this team? I'm also going to look at their resume as well. Going to look at their resume, look at their history and whatnot, see what they've done for their previous teams and whatnot, uh, and see if I really feel like they are truly a, a good fit and if they can really make a difference uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, and then we would had a conversation, all right, so you, you, you gave me how your philosophy, what your philosophy would be. Now, um, who are some receivers how, how, who, who you feel could really fit that bill? And depending on what they told me, I'll go from there. Because I would also have my own guys that I would be targeting um, as far as via like trade and stuff. Because free agents, <laughs> it ain't looking too good. Oh, and then, of course, there's a draft as well. Um, but that's, that's really it, man. Um, and just obviously, I, I would still want to keep as strong as a, a defense as I can. Um, but there will be some changes there too. Um, but because I, I would be putting a lot more money into the offense moving forward, that would that would be another change. Putting a lot more money uh, into the offense. Um, I mean, obviously, if 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 Lamar, if I could keep him, then great, better better for me. Uh, because that that would obviously be putting a lot of money into the offense if I could keep Lamar. Um, but if I can't, then oof. I, then uh, I would sit in my office and cry. Next question came from my guy Jason. He said, "Engraving the team, keep it clean." Fortunately, we're here to talk post victory. But the only question I have right now was that game as ugly on TV as it was live? It, it had to be for anybody that was there. And I, I keep hearing from so many different people that the vibe was just off. The vibe was just way off with Ravens fans. And I mean, can you blame them? You you can't blame them. They they go there. They, they pay their hard earned money to see the team, and that's the product that that gets put out there. Now I will say, because um, I know there's that video that's been circulating around with the fan saying all kind of stuff to Greg Roman. That was uncalled for, in my opinion. 
um that that's that's just too much that that was uncalled for i think that was just disgusting it was tasteless that that was just i i, I hated that i didn't like that at all um no nobody greg roman it, as much as if you don't like him if you don't like his play call you don't like him as an offensive coordinator okay cool you want to voice your displeasure whether it be on social media or you hey start a podcast or whatnot da, 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 okay cool but to disrespect him as a man nah nah because you would hate 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 especially because you always got to try to put yourself in somebody else's shoes you would hate if somebody came to your job hey Oh, you suck. Hey, uh, this and that. Screaming all this obscene and not team keep it clean stuff at you. It's, it's, that, that was just, that was garbage in my opinion. But anyway, um, he, oh, oh, he said because I was there live. So he went to the game. Okay, I know you went to the game. He said, and let me tell you something. The ink on Greg Roman's exit letter should have been dry at the start of the fourth quarter. Hey, I, I, again, I think it is. I, I think he already put in his resignation papers. Um, we still, as of today, because I'm recording this on Tuesday at 12.06 p.m. Eastern time. I don't know if that make a difference to anybody, but, yeah. No, we ain't heard nothing yet, which I'm surprised, so we just got to wait and see. Next question came from my guy Flex. He said, everything must go. Maybe even you, in Cat Williams' voice. I'm sending this mid-game. <laughs> He said the end result doesn't even matter. The damage has been done. Lamar getting hurt was a cherry on Sunday. Uh, I ain't even tripping on that. It's time for a new regime. I'm talking about owner on down. Steve needs to sell the team. Look at the product he's allowing to hit the field. The cost of drafting projects in the first few rounds. We all know the draft is a crapshoot, but he ain't hitting on nothing. Harbaugh's time has been over. The team is lackadaisical, lackluster, lacking, and he needs to take his boy Mickey D with him. Send him back to Jim. I couldn't care less if Roman takes that Stanford job or gets let go. His contract is up at the end of the year. Any Anyway, I didn't expect him back. Stanford wouldn't be doing us any favors. The front office has failed miserably already. Roman has been the scapegoat. I mean, he's sorry, but he's been allowed to do what he's done. I expect Lamar to be gone. One or two things are going to happen. This team will do a tag and trade, and Lamar, Lamar requests a trade. He should, <coughs> excuse me, he should have been extended after his third year. But we have people in charge who are clueless. Now, I don't, I don't think it would have been smart on Lamar's part to get extended after his third year. Yeah, he could have got a significant amount of money, but... Him waiting, the money just keeps going up. Him, him waiting, and it, it, it just it, it's working out for him in the in the long run. Uh, but anyway, uh, he said, uh, "You know how hard it is to get a franchise quarterback." Yeah, yeah. And, and they're going to let him go for what? For what? For what? If Lamar leaves, I'm gone. I don't care about. Oh, you're not a real Ravens fan. I was a fan long before Lamar, but I will never support an incompetent front office. My belief system won't let me do it. I'll still support the channel though. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you he said um and, and to add to this realistically i ain't going nowhere i'll just have two teams this pending offensive coordinator search is critical i don't want urban he may do a fine job but i'd rather not find out he's the same type of hire we always have and that's uninspiring hookup harbaugh does need does need to make an appearance i don't need any more of his friends in high positions oh i think he meant he doesn't need to make an appearance oh wow as i am um, Wow. As I'm reading to his question, the Titans just fired their GM. Whoa. Whoa up. Tight What's ain't Titans like don't they got a good record right now? Or oh, they seven and five. Wow. They right wow. They right there. Maybe maybe seeing AJ Brown in person and seeing him like do them nasty. Maybe that was what, what sparked it, cause that's crazy. Wow. Mm. Anyway, wow, that, that threw me off. Um, he said, I thought I was done. I just saw the snap count. Ricard was on the field for 35% of the game. An obvious season low. Uh, what a coincidence. Lamar goes out and Pat Ricard's snaps go down. I'm not, I'm not going to say it's sabotage. You obviously want to make the game easier for your backup, but does Lamar not deserve the same game plan? Shouldn't the team want to make it easier for their MVP? Huntley doesn't need extra protection. This is what I'm talking about. It's baffling, man. Hey, there go that S word again. There it goes again, my friend. Um, and yes, yeah, scary stuff to think about. Is it a coincidence? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it's just because it's like when when you take the eye test, 
you see it for yourself. It's just different. They do things so much differently and in a beneficial way for Tyler Huntley. But it's like, hold up. You have had plenty of opportunities to do it this way for Lamar. You've seen the success level that, it, that you've had when you do it for that way for Lamar. But you don't do it that way for Lamar. It's weird. It's really weird. It's really weird. But, hey, I don't know, man. Um, but, yeah, my guy Plex is ready for Ravens to just do a complete clean sweep. Are you with him or no? The last question on this episode that came from a patron is my guy, Harry. He said, how you doing, Ian Graven and the rest of the team keep it clean family? I was watching a video, if Greg Roman leaves, what would change? Now, I don't know if it makes a difference, especially after that game, but he sent this on the night before the game. But anyway, he said, uh, I think we would get a little bit better at play calling, and that's only because we know Harbaugh doesn't call the plays, but philosophy will still be the same. My question is, what if the Ravens just clean house and do what they should have done uh, in the beginning. Fire Harbaugh, trade him, whatever. Just get King John out the castle and hire Mr. Sean Payton. Wow, see, a, a lot of people, even after the win, a lot of people just like, man, they they just seem over it. Um, I uh, So much for me depends on this season. And I, I um, so much depends on this season. Uh, they're eight and four right now. Let, let's just see. In my opinion, I'm saying let, let's just let's. I mean, we obviously ain't got no choice, but I wouldn't do a bunch of firing and all that stuff right now. I'd say, all right, let's see how it goes, man. But everybody, in my opinion, would be extremely accountable. Um, so, anyway, uh, he said, uh, yeah, bring Sean Payton. With Sean Payton, our philosophy would totally change. We would use Lamar as a quarterback that has the ability to run if the play breaks down. Now we use him as our now right now we use him as our RB one with an arm. Uh, receivers will actually be used for more than decoys and blockers. We actually would expect them to catch the ball and make plays. Our defense would be fast, long, and strong, but wouldn't have to be historically good to win. They would have to be a good defense, and that's it. Don't cost us a game, so maybe we shouldn't just hope for Giro to go, but for Harbaugh to leave, too. If not, something tells me that Lamar will probably end up in Tampa, and they will end up using him like Philly uses Jalen Hurts. Then us Ravens fans will have to look at every other team using a dual-threat quarterback properly while we are stuck with Zach Wilson or some other reclamation project while Lamar is winning the Super Bowl with another team. And that would be painful because that would bring up so many what ifs and what could have been and what should have been. And it's and what's 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 interesting is that I know we all are thinking about all these different scenarios with the Ravens, with their staff, with Lamar Jackson and da da da, da and, and what could happen in the future. Because we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. We all got our different ideas and opinions on what we feel may happen, what we feel could happen, what we feel might happen. But we just none of us know. We don't know yet. Um, so when it happens, when whatever happens, happens, whether Lamar stays, whether he leaves, whether Harbaugh stays, whether he leaves, whether whoever stays, Greg Roman stays or leaves or whatnot, whatever happens with everybody, um, it's going to be sad looking back at it because it's like, man, uh, me, I've I already been like thinking about all the what could have been and what should have been, uh, how things could have been done. Um, but I just, I, I, I guess we won't ever really be able to escape well, I can't speak for everybody, but me, I won't ever really be able to escape the what could have been and what should have been because it wasn't done. The stuff didn't happen. The stuff, it didn't, it never did, it didn't go down in, in five years. Is We already have the questions on, and this is before Lamar Jackson, even if he even leaves, hopefully he doesn't, but if he leaves, the, the question will still be there for me. Like what could have been in his first five, well, really, uh, well, first five years, yeah, but really, um, his last three years, his last three, four years, what what really could have been? What really last three years after 2019? That's, that's, that's a big question for me. What what could have been? That will always be such a big question that I think about. What could have been? What could have went down? What How they could have done stuff? How they could have went in? But they didn't. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Shout out to Graven.